hitters don't play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. They stay with it. I'm okay with it. When they come to me, they don't play with it. Hello sweeties, welcome to or back to my channel. It's Sugar here and I'm doing something I haven't done in a while, a synthetic wig. So this is Tania in the color FHL350 slash 99J. And this is the inside. You get a 13 by four frontal, three combs in the top, the adjustable straps and a comb in the back. So I'm gonna use my lace tint in medium brown and just cover the entire frontal just so it can match my skin tone better. Even get the lace that you're gonna cut off so everything is seamless. Now you're gonna go in with like a cream contour or cream foundation that is your skin tone. You're gonna to cover your entire cap that you know is gonna show through the lace with that shade. So now that we have the wig on, don't forget to cut off your ear tabs first before you, you know, glue it down or however you choose to style it. Make sure you're cutting around the ear. Anything covering your ear has to go. So I did go in and tweeze the hairline just a little bit, nothing serious. Um, just to break it up a little bit more. I do think it comes pre-plucked, but um, you can always go in and pluck it more if you think that you need to. I didn't want anything to be too straight of a line. I want to kind of break it up and just make it look more natural. And I really suggest any time that you are tweezing your wig, you do it on a mannequin head. But of course, you know, for you guys, I want to do as much on camera with you as possible. But I definitely think you get the best results on a mannequin head. So now I'm going in with my got to be, this is like my little lazy method, just spraying it directly on the hairline, not really past it, not behind it, like dead on the hairline, um, going all the way around. And then on the ear tabs, if you want to put just a little bit more under the lace, because those will pop up more than anything else, you can do that. But I just mainly stick to the hairline, tie it down, blow dry it. And that is that. I do love a good melt. So, but I will say that this wig is glueless. Like if you um, style it and have your baby hairs already styled and you take it off and you put it back on, she will stay put. I will give her that. She is glueless. Um, of course, the ear tabs will be flopping a little bit, but if you have the hairstyle where you can't see them, you are golden. So as you can see, I'm starting to cut off the lace. I cut three tabs and then I go in with a razor. That is your best bet. I know some people use scissors, but if you want to cut the lace jagged and not in a straight line and cut it really close to the hairline and close to your skin, a razor is gonna be your best bet. Now, after you do that, you know, you might've pulled and tugged a little bit. Now we're gonna go in and melt again. That is the process with wigs, just like makeup. Sometimes you do stuff, then you go back and blend it out and it's almost where you can't see it. It's the back and forth that's gonna get you where you need to be. So I'm gonna do the same method with the got to be that I did before, just right on the hairline, tie it down, blow dry it and set it. So we're gonna take the melt belt off and after this melt, I'm going to go in with the same cream makeup that I use for my wig cap. And I'm just gonna tap it around my hairline to help blend that lace and really melt it into my skin. Any kind of you know white cast or anything, this should take it away. And sometimes even after I do this step, I still put more got to be and tie it down one more time. Again, it's the back and forth because we want it melted. But now we're gonna move forward. I'm gonna go ahead and start styling this hair a bit. This wig, I chose it because I was really looking for Daniela by Bobby Boss. That wig is so hard to obtain, it is ridiculous. I ordered it, it was in stock. They emailed me like a couple of days later saying that 
that they were out of stock and that I could wait seven days and she still came back and said that I wasn't gonna be able to get it. So I was like, okay, I gotta find a way around this. So I found Tania, which is the one I'm wearing, and it came in the exact same color. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do a little work around. I'm just going to buy Tania and turn her into Daniela. <laughs> and I wanna talk to you guys about this part really quickly. Due to my skin tone and the hair color, my part was not popping and I do not like to pluck my parts just because I don't like that permanent line that you create once you do that. So I always do it with makeup, but the part was not popping when I used my my skin tone that I've been using for the hairline and my wig cap, it just wasn't popping. So I used that color. Then I went in with my 355 powder to kind of set that. I was trying to build a base basically. And then on top of that, you're gonna see me go in with a shade that is like two or three shades lighter than me so that you're getting that definition of the part where I would not use that color on darker hair. But since this color is light and it's, you know, it's, it's kind of close to my skin tone, I had to go much lighter with the shade that I was using. And as you can see now, it's popping out a lot better. So with the baby hair, I'm gonna part it down and I'm gonna pluck to make that scalp in between the hairline and the baby hair pop out a lot more. I want that to be a little bit more of a cleaner part. So I'm gonna clean that up and I'm also going to tweeze the thickness of the baby hairs because sometimes the spacing of the baby hair is parted correctly, but the hair is still way too thick. You need to thin out those baby hairs. So just part that area down and then tweeze down just like this just to thin out the baby hair. You don't want to take out too many chunks, but you definitely want to break that down some. You don't want it to be super thick, curtain-like baby hair. So now I'm gonna get into styling my baby hairs. Um, I have a mini flat iron. I was just too lazy to go get it, so I used this big one. It didn't like bump them the way I really wanted, but it was okay. So with my synthetic baby hairs, I don't use gel. I don't use styling foam like I would with human hair. You need these to stick. They're a lot more stubborn. They pop up really easy. So you're gonna wanna use, you know, something like got to be spray or got to be gel or Eben gel, you know, something that's really gonna stick and make them the way you need them to be because styling foam and stuff like that does not really work on synthetic hair. And also keep your blow dryer nearby when you're styling your baby hairs and stuff like that because sometimes, again, they're stubborn, so you just kinda need to hit them with the heat and they stick instantly. Like, it helps so, so much. So like I said, I wanted to mimic Daniela. She was more on the straighter side with just a little curl in her, not as many curls as this one had. So I went in off camera, I straightened her out, and then I came back on camera to do this part with you um, where I just basically do the loose curls. I straighten out and right towards the end, I start to curl it and I pin it because with synthetic hair, if you want that curl to really stay in you need to clip it and let it cool down if you can still feel heat in that curl and you let it down it's going to fall it's going to be all for nothing so make sure you have some nice clips or clamps or something that you can use to keep that hair in that curl position until it cools off okay but this is how i got more of that daniela look and it also is much more tameable um once you you know knock that curl out that the manufacturer put in there and it made it a really cute look Ladies, I hadn't touched or installed a synthetic wig in almost two years. And I don't know, I was like, I've got to go back and do what I based this channel off of, how I built this channel. And honestly, I was just missing the synthetic hair. I mean, it comes in colors and 
It's really fun, it's exciting, it's attainable. Everyone can't afford human hair. I just watched some of my old synthetic hair videos and I was having fun, it was exciting. And so I just really would like to get back to that sometimes on this channel. So if you have any recommendations or wigs you'd like to see me review, please let me know down in the comments. I would love to do it. So this is how she came out, just very loose, casual, everyday curls. She's she's touchable, you can play with her, she looks great. I hope this video helped you and I wanna thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, hit the bell. And until next time, stay sweet.